if it works. Morgan Kelly, Professor of Economics at UCG, what's your reaction to My this guarantee? My reaction is very negative. Initially, when Lenin announced the 100,000 deposit guarantee, I was very optimistic. Had we not had that, we would have had queues outside banks yesterday. However, what we need to ask ourselves, the problem here, as Brendan said, is foreign banks are afraid to lend to Irish banks. They're not afraid to lend to banks in other parts of Europe. We need to ask ourselves what's going on here. The underlying reason is that Irish banks have made very big loans to developers and above all to builders. They're losing money on these. They have a lot of bad debts. They're covering them up, but international institutions know they're there. That's why they've stopped borrowing. But what would the alternative be, Morgan Kelly? Like, if they hadn't done this today, I suppose they could have done a form of nationalisation. Are you saying they shouldn't do anything? No. They need to do what has been done everywhere else. It's that as individual banks run into problems, the government goes in and, first of all, sees if they need to survive. A lot of banks in the US have just been let go. And we need, obviously, to keep our retail banks going. There are some non-retail banks that could have been let go. Nobody would have missed them. But what you need is for government to come in, offer new capital to banks in return for a share of ownership and recapitalize them. That is a real big problem here. Irish banks have made big losses on their loans. They're short of capital. Well, we what don't quite know if that is the real problem. The banks insist that they don't need capital from the government. They don't want capital from the government. They can trade their way through this if they can access the normal funding. And that's what all the discussions have been for the last three or four weeks. No, but none every of, other bank the, in the world disagrees with because them. Because other banks have gone to their government saying, give us money or we go bust. The Irish banks are not saying that. They're not asking for no, money. No, we have to ask, if this was simply a problem of liquidity, what we would have seen is that Irish bank share price today would have exploded. Instead, what we have is that Irish bank share price this evening is slightly lower than it was yesterday morning for the three main retail banks, AIB, Bank of Ireland, permanent TSB. It's not liquidity is a problem for these guys. They've bad loans. They're huffing and puffing and pretending it's not going on. The example for us should be what happened in Sweden. Nearly 20 years ago, they had a big property bubble, just like ours. At the end of it, banks lent a lot to developers and builders. They went under. The Swedish government moved in decisively, made these banks realize their bad debts, took them over, and ended up not losing money. And that's what we need to do here. The alternative, the Finns had the same thing. Like here, they ignored what was going on, said, oh, things are fundamentally sound. They ended up losing about 10% of their national income, bailing their banks so out. So you don't view it as a preemptive strike by our government? Well, it was basically they didn't really know what to do, and they decided an Irish solution for an Irish problem. Effectively, the situation is it's like you have a stupid kid who keeps going out and smashing up his I car. I think the difficulty is we know what the Irish bank's bad loans are, they're going to be uh, about 1% of their loan books. No, that's complete nonsense. What, we have a situation, Irish banks so you, went... You disagree with yes. Deutsche Bank, you disagree with I Morgan dis Stanley, I disagree, you disagree with all the I analysts disagree who say entirely, that. yes. They have 25 billion in loans to builders. All the ghost estates you can see around the place, that is the capital of the Irish banks right now. They are going to make horrific losses on these. And I suppose you could say if, if one or even two of the small Irish banks goes down, then this system uh, may well work. If it's a Swedish banking crisis, of course it won't work, and they'll have made a horrible mistake. Uh, but the proof of the pudding without being the eating, and I, I don't see the figures that are the conditions that really suggest to me that this is a Swedish situation.